Hey, I'm Lauren, and I'm going to be sharing everything you need to know about lip blushing in today's video. If you like honest beauty product reviews and procedure reviews, then hit that subscribe button so you can see everything new in the beauty industry. So lip blushing is basically lip tattooing, and while it seems kind of crazy to think that you would want to tattoo some color on your lips, just wait until you get a little bit older because you'll notice that your once pink lips no longer have that color, and unless you're wearing something, you kind of look drab and like dead. I mean, today I'm wearing foundation, but nothing on my lips. This is after I've had two sessions of lip blushing and I love it. So I'm 35 years old and I remember when I was 26, one of my older coworkers at my last job told me how lucky I am to have color in my lips. She was always putting on lipstick and I just thought she was obsessed with that color. And then when I turned 32, I understood <laughs> what she was talking about. I feel like my lips just instantly turned pale. And I'm not a huge lipstick person. I love chapstick, but not lipstick. And so I was really frustrated because I just found that my go-to chapstick wasn't enough color anymore. I literally just used the original chapstick brand, the Black Tube. And obviously I needed a little bit more color. So I found the Vitality Lip Flush. So I got this as a sample in one of the IT Cosmetics boxes and I became obsessed with it. So I wear color Rose Flush. I also love Je ne sais quoi. I think that's the name of the other one. But Rose Flush is a little bit more natural and I always have a tube of this somewhere. This is the color. It's beautiful and what's cool about it is it's clear. So it goes on just like a chapstick does and then it adapts to your pH and gives you some beautiful color in your lips. So I wore this for years, I still love it, but one of my friends went and got her lip blushing done and I was like, oh my God, I don't wanna do face tattoo. <laughs> like that just seems so crazy to me. I was always terrified about any face tattoos because when I worked at the med spa, where the bulk of our business was laser hair removal and tattoo removal and we could not remove face tattoos. If people went somewhere that would actually use tattoo, it would not work. Now, I feel like microblading has come such a long way since I worked at a med spa. I also have a video all about microblading and powder brows if you guys want to learn more about brow tattoo. I don't even know if it's called tattoo, but I, I just feel like that's the easiest way to describe what's happening because they use, it's basically a tattoo gun, but it's not your typical tattoo gun because it doesn't add as much pigment as a regular tattoo would. So it uses ink that's specifically made for your lips or your eyebrows. And then it has a single needle machine. So it's just not, it's not as intense as your typical tattoo. And when I went and had it done, I was so nervous about the color. Cause I, again, like I'm not a huge lip color person. I just wanted a little bit of something natural. So I brought my L'Oreal lipstick in color Ferris Nude. This is the prettiest, I'm gonna put it on right. I'll put it on later in this video so you guys can see what it looks like. But I wanted to show you my natural lips without anything on them, like not even chapstick right now. The whole appointment took about two hours from start to finish. You numb for about 20 minutes and while you're numbing, you discuss what colors you like. So I brought in this lipstick and I showed them, it's, I'm very, very neutral. And I wanted to do something really subtle because I don't wear bold colors on my lips and I don't want to have a tattoo that I'm going to regret in a darker color. So the color on the left that she pointed to, that is the tattoo ink color that she uses, but it goes on, it's much more dull than that. And then when you're done numbing, you wipe off your lips. And she took this white pen and outlined my lips to make sure that I liked the shape. And since my lips are asymmetrical, this part took a while for us to get exactly right, just because I'm so particular. But she was really patient with me and she was able to even like make my lips look more even with her white pen. So I'm really excited about that. And then once we got the shape we liked, we started tattooing and it's literally painless. You feel pressure, but it's not really anything bad. It's not like lip filler or lip waxing. So if you see that little tiny faint line, that's the color. <laughs> that's one pass. Nice, that's the whole lip. Mm -hmm. And I'll do probably one more to two, depending on how the next pass goes. So then you put on more numbing cream. Yeah. And as she works on one area of the lip, she would keep the numbing cream on the other and then like switch it back and forth. So we would apply numbing cream here, work on this side and then switch and then do that. And the reason they actually do that one, because it makes it more comfortable, but then the numbing cream also whitens the lips so that they can see exactly where they're putting the color and where they need to apply more. 
So this was right after we finished the whole treatment. And then after my appointment, we applied their like lip ointment and that was that. So the first appointment, it's $450 and then she told me to come back in for a touch up in six to eight weeks and touch ups are $100. And what's cool is if you don't love the color from the first time around, you can change it in the second time and it, it still will like work with the first color that you put on. So you can go darker if you decide, or if the color is too intense from the first time, you can actually put in a lighter color and kind of wash it out. And then the aftercare of the lips. So my lips started darkening that same day and they were like dark for me. And then the next day they were even darker and my husband was freaked out, I was freaked out, but they weren't nearly as dark as my friend that had hers done. So the darkness lasted for two days the first time I had it done. And then after my touch up appointment, it only lasted like one day. And then the lips lighten and they go through what they call the ghosting period. And that lasts for about a day or two. And then the color comes back, but it's faded like 30 to 50% and you may experience some swelling. My friend's lips really swelled. Mine didn't swell that bad and that usually lasts one to two days after your appointment. And then after a few days, your lips might peel or they'll feel chapped. Three of lips and so they start to chap over and you're really just supposed to wear like basic lip products, no lipstick or anything, but the color is definitely looking more natural. And then that goes away after like seven to 10 days, but really, I feel like my lips weren't very chapped. It wasn't bad. Aftercare is really easy. So no spicy food and no drinking out of straws for a few weeks. And the first time I followed this religiously. And then the second time I was more relaxed and the color still turned out great. <laughs> so after my first appointment, the lip liner stayed on, but I feel like the inner part of my lips, it just almost completely went away. So it looked like I just had lip liner on all the time. So I definitely needed my touch up appointment. And she says that most people do need their touch up. And then the color should last two to five years and you can touch up yearly if you want or you don't need to. I want a little bit darker, not as sheer, so it shows holds that. a little bit, <laughs> a little bit better. I like it. You like it? Yeah, it looks really good. I feel like the outline is still a little bit darker than the inner, but I actually don't mind it because I feel like it looks natural and like... I really love the color, it's subtle, but it's always there. And I was a little bit concerned of like, what it would be like to wear lipstick over the color. Would my lipstick still look the same or would they change color because I had color on my lips already, but it has not been an issue at all. I'm so happy with the results and I'm really glad I did it. And just, if you're on the fence about it, I highly recommend trying it. I feel like it's worth the price, especially if your lips have completely lost their color like mine did. And oh, let me show you. <coughs> So this is the color that I wanted them to look like. It's so subtle. I have friends that literally went like hot pink. I, I couldn't, I'm not brave enough for that. But it's just like, adds some color, but not much. And it's like a very fair nude, like the name. So I'm gonna link this color below if you guys like it. I will also link the Vitality Lip Flush if you're not quite ready for lip blushing, but you do want some instant color on your lips. Everyone I show this to, buys it immediately and loves it. It's just one of the best products. So I hope you guys found this video informative and again, subscribe to my channel. I'm also on Instagram and TikTok. My handle is lauren.arrow and I have a blog where I do like mega deep dives into skincare and other beauty topics. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.